Hello everybody, today is June 17, 2014. I just want to remind everyone to please continue or today stop with the alcohol and the drugs. Uh, last time we spoke was uh, Saturday, day prior to Father's Day. I just want to wish everyone a belated Father's Day, you fathers, you grandpas, and even you single moms that have to act as mother and father. Happy belated Father's Day. Uh, if there's anyone watching right now that uh, was uh, watching or uh, did watch my video from Saturday, uh, you'll remember I was explaining about uh, things that we need to watch out for as alcoholics slash drug uh, addicted folks. Um, you might be a functioning alcoholic or somebody that can function on drugs. However, it's bad for your health. So I'm asking you to please, if you did stop from the last video, continue with your sobriety. If you did not stop, but you want to stop, uh, listen to a couple words I just have to say. Um, it is a brand new week. Uh, I am going on vacation next week, and I'm looking so forward to it. Uh, for Since June of 2013, it's been a rough ride for me. Uh, uh, being sober uh, but each and every day it is getting easy I just want to remind folks the steps that need to be taken uh, during sobriety the initial stages which will uh, let's say if you started today you'll have that those shakes in the first couple of days you might not even be able to eat uh, but those uh, those symptoms will go away uh, it's like I stated previously and I'm gonna state it again it's step by step one day at a time so if you did stop or if you're going to stop today lonely worry about today do not worry about tomorrow tomorrow's a whole new day and that's when you want to make reconfirm that commitment of one day at a time that you are uh, weaker than the disease of drugs and alcohol that uh, uh, you cannot fight um, uh, alone without uh, educating yourself so you need to educate yourself uh, my methods only one way of doing it. There's so many other methods. Uh, I have a sponsor down in Florida. Uh, I just want to give a shout out to the Addiction Center in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, if you go to page six, you can find their website on my website, which is www.clearviews.info. The Addiction Center in Florida is there to help you for all my friends watching that are located in Florida. Uh, Go to page six on my website and click on their website so that way you can contact them. But for people that are outside of Florida or outside of New York, if you go to page seven, um, you will find uh, rehab centers for every single state. Find your state, click on your state, and contact that organization immediately if you need it immediately. Uh, uh, is there an urgency? I will tell you. Uh, June of 2013, I knew that was my urgency. I needed to uh, get myself together and um, uh, look forward to living longer, living uh, with sobriety, keeping my family members, keeping people that are close to me around me. Um, and, and the only way that was going to happen was with sobriety because everybody uh, that saw what I was doing to my, uh, my life um, knew that uh, if I continued down that path, uh, it would be uh, uh, lethal, not only to my health, but to me, but also to my personal and professional life. So start today if you want to. Please um, don't hesitate. Just do it. Uh, I did tell everybody my contact information last time on a video, but I want to do it on this video as well. Um, you know, it says... Um, to always contact another person with the addiction or or another alcoholic. So here's my contact uh, information. You can reach me via phone, two different numbers. The first one is 631-599-0218, and the other one is 1-844-393-9355, which is my business number. You can just leave a message on my business number. Another way to contact me is via email at ralf, dot f r i e d r i c h s at yahoo.com that's ralph dot friedrichs at yahoo.com you can also go on www.clearviews.info and go to contacts uh contact form and you can fill out a form and contact me that way or just leave a comment on pay on the comment page um, so we're just going to talk briefly real quick about stages in 
your uh, recovery. Uh, the first stage, of course, is to admit that you have a problem. Because if you can't even admit that to yourself, then uh, you're wasting your time. And I don't mean to be so blunt, but I need to be so blunt, <laughs> if you want to say it that way. You need to first say, I have a problem and I need help. Once you do that, there are a couple of methods that you can utilize. You can use the method that I use, which is to help you. And by helping you, I'm helping me. In other words, I'm communicating with you on my experiences that I've experienced in the last year. And by doing that, it keeps me alert and focused on addiction and alcoholism. In other words, it keeps me going. Another way to do it is on uh, AA. I didn't find that to be too helpful for me. To me, it was like a forum, a chat forum, a get together. Uh, so you could utilize that. There are AA uh, facilities, meetings, everywhere in whatever town you might live in. Just look it up and you will find it. Another way uh, would be to go directly, if it's severe enough, to rehab center. Again, you can find rehab center on my page seven for every state. If you're in Florida, near Jacksonville, you can go to the addiction center uh, and you can go to page six to, com uh, to contact them on page six of my webpage, www.clearviews.info. Uh, click on the addiction center and uh, that will get you right to their webpage and you can contact them. And that's for, I believe it's Jacksonville, Florida. If not Jacksonville, it's Orlando. It's one of those two. Just go to my page six and you will locate them there. So that is this, the first step is to admit it. Second step, which I did, was I eliminated any alcohol that was within my household, whether it being in the house or in the back. When I say in the back, I had stuff hidden in the shed, uh, bottles, just maybe with even a couple drops that I had just thrown in, onto the lawn in the backyard. Uh, I didn't want to have the temptation of going there and even trying to drip out the last drop or two just to get something into me. So eliminate all the alcohol, and uh, if it's not alcoholism you're dealing with, but drugs, get rid of those drugs. Go to your toilet and flush it right down. And if you find that to be hard to do, whether it be the alcohol or the drugs, to eliminate it because you're going to say, well, I spent money on it, uh, then you're not being true to yourself. You're not being ready. To be ready is to forfeit. Forfeit those those uh, objects, those that liquid, that powder, that marijuana. You need to forfeit that. Look. It's better than forfeiting your life or taking someone else's life. So do that. Uh, but you have to be ready to do that. So once you have done that, uh, like I said, then you're going to deal with your meetings. If you want to use that or you can utilize my method. If you go on my webpage, uh, you will find all sorts of different ways of, of handling. Uh, just to tell you what's on my webpage, there's approximately 14 pages, a lot of articles, a lot of videos. A lot of just addiction information, a lot of contacts for you to get a hold of different people in different states. Uh, uh, my, my website is being watched uh, worldwide. Um, if you go to Google, Yahoo, uh, Bing, and ask, you will find my website if you just type in clearviews.info. So now we dumped all this garbage, the alcohol. We flush the marijuana, we flush the coke, the crack, whatever, down the toilet. From this point on, we need to now build ourselves up because now we're infants in the sobriety sense. In other words, we're, we're brand new to this. We need uh, a, uh, a guide on how to mature to become uh, uh, bigger, sober people. When I say bigger, I don't mean in size, but I mean in education. We want to educate ourselves so we need to work on ourselves lean on other people that have been sober for a while uh, if it's just a month they've been sober that's one month longer than you lean on them find out what what works for them uh, it's not a good idea if you're an alcoholic to go to a bar and hang out uh, in the beginning they do say you could always just get a club soda but I think in the beginning it's not that great of an idea um, I've been past bars. I believe I've been in uh, a situation. Oh yeah, I my dad came to visit. We went to Applebee's, and of course my dad and my mom had some wine. Um, my wife and I was sitting there, and uh, did it bother me? Uh, no, no, it didn't really bother me. What did bother me is the fact that they knew that I was just in my early stages of recovery. 
that they would even order it. Um, but, you know, they are grown-ups. They can do what they need to do. And uh, it's not for me to judge that. And I don't judge that. And I would never tell them not to order it. But um, so avoid bars. Um, another thing to avoid is um, when I say bars, is like when I went to, in my last video, I mentioned I went to Dallas. I stayed in New York st uh, City for four days for a show. Uh, and at airports, you see those bars. And, and the older days, with all the traveling all over the world that I was doing, I would stop at every bar and every airport and kind of replenish my need. Uh, even on flights, I would ask for a shot of vodka or two. Uh, I thought it was soothing my, my, um, my nervousness, but really what I was doing is intoxicating myself to escape reality. Uh, and a reality I did res uh, escape, uh, but guess what? When I came down from that high, reality was still there waiting for me, open arms for me to continue my life. Um, now I wake up in the morning, reality is there in the identical situation it was when I went to sleep, and I do remember going to sleep, which is even nicer. So now we uh, are starting to go to our meetings, like I just stated, so that's great. And uh, educate yourself as much as you can. Um, it's okay for you to count day by day. I did maybe count up to my first 100 days, and then I stopped counting. And periodically, I do go and check to see how, where, I, at what stage I am, whether it be 200 days, 300 days, whatever. So it's okay to count, but I will tell you, go day by day, step by step. Don't uh, get ahead of yourself. Just um, do, do what you think is going to work to keep you sober because there is no set standard for sobriety. There's your standard and your sobriety. You are accountable for your sobriety, so uh, make it work for you. Don't let other people tell you how to do it. If other people want to recommend how they were doing it, that's great, but you're going to be your captain, your own ship, and uh, sail whichever way you want with your sobriety. Sorry, that was my uh, cell phone. Uh, so now uh, we continue growing. We educate ourselves. We can better sober people. Uh, people around you will notice uh, your family, your children, wife, husband, uncle, aunt. Uh, if you're a functioning alcoholic or somebody that was addicted, your job probably won't notice the difference other than your personality, uh, being nicer to other people, uh, being nicer to your fellow employees. But other than that, nothing there will change. It's the people that are around you every single day for every single minute that know the signs of drunkness, of addiction, because they've seen it at the house. When you're at work, you don't have those, so people don't know the difference, really. So continue to grow. Look at yourself like a plant that needs to be watered every single day. Water yourself with knowledge. Water yourself with uh, uh, methods and grow. And then as you grow, branch out. Help someone else by educating them with your experience. Don't tell them this is the way it has to be, but tell them this is what's worked for me. And when you do that, that's great. So we're at 13 and a half minutes. I have promised myself and I'm promising you as my audience to keep you below 15 minutes to keep your curiosity and your interest at peak. I don't want to ramble on. So I will say this, nothing, nothing whatsoever is impossible. Whatever you set your mind to do, will happen, whether it's being sobriety, whether it's being career, whether it's being anything. You are special, and you decide how your life is going to go. So please remember nothing is impossible. I will say this. Quit your drinking, quit your drugs, and I promise you, I really promise you that a sober today makes for a brighter, clearer tomorrow and the rest of your life. It's good for your body, all this it's good for, it's for people around you, it's good for them. It's just good for everybody in general. So nothing's impossible. Try to have a great day. I will talk to you guys real soon again. And remember, you are special and you are special to someone. Take care of yourself. I will talk to you soon. A sober today is, makes a better and clearer tomorrow. Take care and have a good day, and please stay sober. Thank you very much. Have a great day.